Um, well, in 2014, I graduated from Portsmouth um, University with um, a childhood and youth studies degree. Um, and like most graduates, I didn't know what I wanted to do after that. Um, and I struggled initially to find a full-time interesting role that I wanted to go into. Um, so I had a couple of part-time roles and then was volunteering as well. Um, but it was within this period that I logged on to Suffolk um, Jobs Direct and I saw that Suffolk County Council were advertising for a graduate um, programme which was 18 month placement. Um, so originally I didn't actually apply to join the Fire and Rescue Service. Now that wasn't because I wasn't interested in joining the service, um, it was purely because I didn't know anything about the service and what it had to offer um, except for firefighters and big red fire engines. So um, I didn't realise that there was this big hub behind the scenes, um, you know, of loads of people working together in different departments to actually make the service run efficiently. Um, so I was then employed by the Fire and Rescue Service and I was in the protection department auditing commercial premises for just under two years. Um, and although I found it really interesting, I, there was still a bit of me that wanted to be using my degree. Um, and it was at that point that the Youth Education Development Coordinator role within the Prevention Department came up. So I eventually built up enough courage to apply for that and uh, here I am today. And I really love my job. Um, so within the French department, uh, my role involves three main areas. So uh, we have um, emergency services cadets, which is a joint scheme between um, the police and fire and rescue service. We have road traffic collision education, um, and that involves the fire bike team as well as the road traffic collision education team. So we deliver talks and things to young people. Um, and we also have school fire liaison officers. So they're firefighters um, placed in educational settings um, and their role is to act as, as a mentor and support young people. But like I said, that's just my role. There's loads of other departments within the service. So. The most rewarding part, well, all we can really do is, is pass over the information and knowledge that we have and, and hope that that's picked up by members of the public, um, but in my area specifically young people. Um, I'd say the most rewarding part is knowing that I've given that information um, and that hopefully with that young people will take slight, something away from it um, and it will just make them that little bit safer um, and that they can share it with those closest to them, most likely to be their family and friends.